What's up everyone, welcome to your first C++ tutorial and in these tutorials I'm going to be uh, teaching you how to program the language C++. Now I'm going to assume that you guys have no programming experience so I'm going to start with the very basics and the first thing that you need to get started is something called a compiler and to do that go into Google I, see, I uh, have Firefox open and type in dev c++ then search it google and the first thing that you'll find the first result is called bloodshed software so click on that and, th and then uh... go to the download page and click download now click on the dev c++ link right at the top and this will give you um, a page where you can go to the download page click go to the download page and then from here you can download as you can see all of your downloads for a compiler and you're gonna wanna click the first one most likely download from SourceForge and what this is gonna do is give you a compiler for C++ now what a compiler is is pretty much a program that lets you type in C++ code and run it on your computer. So I'll uh, talk more about compilers later but once you download that I'm not gonna click that because it's gonna try to download my computer and I already have it. But you can X out of that and once you finish downloading it you can go to start all programs bloodshed and click on dev C++. I click on it. Here we go. Now, I guess it can compile. What a compiler is, this will give you this. Just click X. Is um, it allows you to run code to a specific piece to a specific application. Cause uh, C plus plus is a language that you can use on either your computer or a cell phone or a traffic light or anything like that. And instead of writing new code every time you wanted to type it to your computer and you wanted to use a new code for uh, a traffic light, if you're a program in traffic light, you only have to write one code and the compiler changes all of it for you. So um, that's a little background about a compiler. You didn't really need to know that. But, but anyways, once you have dev C++ open, all you need to click is file, new, source file. And once you have this, we're ready to begin working on C++. So, I hope you enjoyed your first tutorial. I hope your download goes well. So, um, stay tuned for the next of my tutorials, and we'll actually be getting into some code. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.